Yes, right. Hey guys, we are back with a uh, kind of a fun project here we're gonna do today. Uh, my son has a project he has to do for school, so we thought we'd record it um, to show everybody and see how this goes. What are we making, Curtis? A volcano. Yes. We are gonna try our hand at paper mache, and I've seen it done before, so let's hope we do this right. Okay, so. In order to start our volcano, we're going to cut our paper first that we're going to use to cover it. So he cut the newspaper in half, and now he's going to cut it into strips. And you cut them in the width is going to be um, dependent on the size of the volcano you're going to make. We're using this. I will tell you, we had a leftover cup. We cut a hole in the top. And we had this extra piece of cardboard I cut off of. I think it came from bed sheets. Uh, new bed sheets, yeah. And then I actually secured the cup to the cardboard with Gorilla Glue so it would stay. Gorilla. Yeah. Okay, guys. While Curtis is making the strips, I'm in the kitchen making the paste. So I had to look this up because I'd never done paper mache before. So it is three parts water to one part flour. So you basically, you mix the flour in the water until it makes like a paste. I'm mixing with a spoon and I probably should mix with a whisk. Let me go get a whisk. Okay, so I got a whisk. I'm going to mix it. Doo -doo -doo. It's starting to look like a paste. So we're going to mix that up and we're going to make a paste. And then next we will start preparing the strips to go onto our cup to make the volcano. Yeah. Okay. So now we have our strips, we have our paste, and we're gonna try to put it on there. So we're gonna dip these in. I think I'm gonna try to, I may have to shorten these a little bit, but this is how it's gonna go. You dip it in the paste. Okay. We may have made this paste a little thick. <laughs> Great job, Mom. It's okay. <laughs> And then we're going to drape it over. Ooh, it's oozing. Ugh. And we're going to put it on like that. All right, so. It's, it's oozing right here. Okay, and we're going to go yes. around and do. I'm just going to tear this off and make that easier. <laughs> and we're going to go around the whole cup doing that with the paper mache paste. DIY paste that we made and yes it's going to make a mess but we will go around the whole thing like that it's gonna be easy and then we'll let that dry and we might do another layer okay 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 so we are done putting the strips we dipped the strips in the paste that we made and then we arranged them how we wanted to around the cup we wrapped them around the inside a little bit there and then we'll let this dry and see if it's paintable or if we need to put another layer on we'll see how this turns out this is my first time doing paper mache all right so this is the following afternoon after making our paper mache volcano as you can see our cardboard kind of curled up a little bit so maybe we can get that to straighten out later with putting something heavy on the corners but it is still drying I did double check to see how long this needed to dry and apparently the type of paper mache that we did with the flour and the water mixture takes 24 to 48 hours to dry so we probably will not be able to paint this until tomorrow but that's fine we still have he has until Friday to turn it in so we started early enough so it's actually looking pretty good it's actually mostly dry still feels a little like gummy and soft here but hopefully by tomorrow we'll be able to to uh, paint it. All right so we waited a couple days 
and our paper mache has dried and now Curtis has started painting. We mixed together some paint we had here at home and made the colors. He's putting on some brown and then he wanted to make some lava. And then um, we'll go from there. So he's gonna paint all of this. We're gonna paint the brown on first and then we'll let that dry yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but down here at the bottom it's gonna be happy. We'll make it like dark, kind like dried up lava. Green. Yeah, okay. All right, folks, here's our finished volcano. Curtis and I both took turns painting. We had paint that we had here already. We just mixed what colors we had together to make these colors. Trust me, it wasn't easy, but we got her done. And we're done a day early. It doesn't have to be until Friday, but I think we'll have them take it in tomorrow. So there you have it folks, simple project made from stuff we had here at home and had some quality time with my son in the meantime while we made it. No money spent.